L.A., city of sun, sand, surf, and stars. A city where everyone seems to roller skate, drive fancy cars, and make movies. Here's a typical Hollywood shooting location. A typical Hollywood director. But this is not your typical Hollywood actor. This is Richard Bickford from Sycamore, Illinois. This is your week. And uh, being one of the ex-employees, you, uh, along with hundreds of other kids who've all grown up, are going to celebrate this week, okay? In real life, Mr. Bickford is a barber. He works in the 11th Street Barber Shop in Rockford. Well, being in Hollywood, I never thought I'd be making a commercial. You know, it's something people dream about or daydream about. McDonald's Crew Kids. There have been a lot of great ones in the last But dreams years. can come true. Richard Bickford is one of the stars of a national McDonald's commercial, celebrating the company's 30th anniversary. The commercial is a salute to all of the 8 million folks who have worked at McDonald's over the years. It shows real people, former employees, doing what they do now, but wearing McDonald's hats. Here's to you, Manu. To find people for the spot, McDonald's placed this ad in newspapers across the country one day this spring. They received 7,500 replies. Out of that, about 400 auditioned on videotape. Do you do anything else? Richard Bickford, barber from Sycamore, was one of them. He was a grill man 23 years ago in DeKalb. Um, how was the menu then? A lot cheaper. I think they were 15 <laughs> cents. Well, next thing you know, Mr. Bickford was in L.A., one of the 17 real people chosen to star in the commercial, along with a violist, an optometrist, a fireman, and so forth. Pretty good, Richard. These people were really crew people at McDonald's, and, and they really have gone a long way, as we do say in our lyrics, and, and it's neat to find out where they are now. Look in that camera, Richard. The people who dreamed up the spot and chose the stars are Cheryl Berman and Gene Mandarino, creative directors for Leo Burnett Advertising. Did yeah. anybody turn you down? Yeah, we did. We had a judge who finally ended up turning us down, Why? I think. Um, well, and actually, we didn't feel all that bad about it. You have to be careful in this situation. We don't want the people to look stupid. And, you know, well, a judge, judge would look you know, in his chambers with a McDonald's hat on, you know, when you really got down to the nitty-gritty and started thinking about it, it was like, yeah. mm, is that <laughs> something to think that, it through, that you really want to do? <laughs> now, everything I've told you, we just got to start the work on it and now. Boom, back over here, boom, your scissors, back over here, and let's look in the camera. The director was Bob Giraldi, a man who's worked with Michael Jackson, with the celebrities on Miller Lite commercials, and now, a man who's worked with Richard Bickford. <laughs> Amateur actors are like dealing with children, you know, that's, not, that's not what they do, so somehow I've got to coach them, coerce them, con them, you know, convince them to give me that five seconds of performance, that when you see, you say, wow, that's magical. Smile. Look at that camera. It's not uh, phony. It's not slick. It's not actors or actresses. These are real people. They're really wearing the hat at work. But they really do. Very nice. 30, 40 more. We'll be okay. After 45 minutes, Giraldi had what he wanted. Mr. Bickford pronounced the experience. Oh, nerve-wracking. You know. One of the things they want to do in this commercial is get people with very visual occupations. In other words, as soon as you see them, you know what they do for a living. Things like a barber or an airline employee. Tom Hall works for United at O'Hare, but 30 years ago, he was a French fry boy at the original McDonald's in Des Plaines. The stage for his part of the commercial was an out-of-the-way spot at L.A. International Airport, complete with airplanes. Is this going to change Tom Hall? Are you going to go back there wearing sunglasses? No, oh, sir. I, I'm father of five children, and <laughs> I'm pretty stable. <laughs> You're not going to go Hollywood. Uh, no. <laughs> this is one of my big deal here in life is uh, uh -huh. making this commercial. See in front of your head. Mandy Pike was another of the chosen few from the Chicago area. She's a maternity ward nurse at Northwestern. They shot her part in a suburban Los Angeles hospital. I mean, did you ever do any acting in, in school or anything like that? High school plays, but that was it. Uh -huh. That was it. Huh? That was it. But all Mandy needed to do here was be natural, in the midst of the most unnatural goings on for a hospital. If I'm on a side angle like this with some light splashing on them, nice effect. Nice. And the other camera's over here, longish lens back there. 
You can't light them where? I can't they put, light in there. put lights in okay. here. Would you prefer to try and cheat this as the window? The world was made in seven days. This commercial took four, shooting at a dozen locations in all around L.A. At a total cost of under a million, they say. They wanted to do it in a big way. Never would have made it to the top And they did. When all was said and done, and the commercial began to air on TV, for Mandy Pike and Tom Hall and all the others, there was stardom for three and a half seconds each. Hats off to you, wherever you are. And meanwhile, in the 11th Street Barber Shop in Rockford, Illinois, life has returned to normal for the barber from Sycamore. Almost normal.